Hey, what is up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be doing a $750 complete gaming setup that can run 144Hz on this monitor here. Let's get right into it, shall we? But first, a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by, wait for it, GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. So if you guys use the link in the description down below, type in code TV20, and then you just type it into the Windows 10 activation and next thing you know, you have it activated. We use GVG Mall to activate all the systems we build here on the YouTube channel. This one is going to be activated as well whenever it gets sent off to somebody else. So we highly recommend you use the link in the description down below and use code TV20 to save 20% when purchasing a Windows 10 key. Now, let's talk about this complete setup, shall we? So big thanks to Pixio for sending over the PXC243. This is a 24-inch monitor that's 144 hertz and is really good looking and we're going to see how good looking it is once we actually get it open and how well it runs with this system here that Matt will talk about. Which this system is a build we've done recently so hit the eye in the top right corner to check that out. We've done these complete setups where we build a PC from scratch but we thought this was a good value system so we might as well show you all how you can incorporate this into a full gaming setup. This thing has a Ryzen 5 3400G and an RX 580. It's a really awesome 1080p high refresh rate gaming PC and easily be able to hit 144 FPS in a majority of those games. If you want full specifics on this system along with some other benchmarks, do check that video out by hitting the eye in the top right corner. One thing to note that we didn't mention in that video is the case we are using right here is not the one we really recommend unless you can find it used because this was a Craigslist pickup. We do recommend something like the AeroCool Cylon which is around $50, but again, links will be in the description down below. It won't make things any more complicated if you do go with another case. So here we have the lovely MPOW M3. This is a, well, cheap gaming headset. And when I say cheap, we're actually very impressed because the sides glow blue, it looks kind of flimsy, it looks kind of funky, but hey, it sounds freaking amazing. This is like the best sounding mic that you can get for under $30. So link will be in the description down below. And we actually really highly recommend this, but you'll hear it when we actually play some games. So we're not totally sure of exactly what this is called, but this is the Super Scholar Z88 keyboard. That's an 81 key layout. So it doesn't have the number pad and all that. It looks really nice and it's mechanical with some kind of blue knockoff sounding switches, but it's actually a really nice keyboard and it's nice and small and compact and kind of portable. So yeah, link will be in the description so you guys can actually figure out what the heck it is, but it's cheap and it's mechanical and that's what counts. So Cooler Master was extremely nice and sent us over this MM710. This is a very, very, very light gaming mouse. So when I say very light, there's a reason it looks like cheese. Well, because they decided to take out a bunch of the extra weight and really all the unnecessary things to make the lightest mouse that is on the market right now. And it really is incredibly light. Even the box is like lighter than a normal mouse. So you guys will see once we actually get it out and start using it, you guys will see just how nice having a light mouse for gaming really is once we start playing. Let's try, uh, I don't know, just drop. Here? Yeah, do it. Right there. All right, right there. All right. So I am, I am getting some, some over 144 FPS right now. It'll probably drop once the parachute pulls out, but yeah, see, see, we're getting a little bit of drop as we're rendering in the texture, but that's not what, oh my God, is it, I was like, <laughs> did you just go straight down? I was like, what? That was a really late parachute, dude. Should I get that? <laughs> do it. Fly around with that thing. Ooh. <laughs> Wait. Whee. Oh. You just stomp buildings and everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Drop on them. Here we go. It's your one shining moment. Can you see? Oh, dude, he saw me. He so saw me, dude. We're dropping on him. Hey. Bad news. Oh. He has, he has oh, he has a shotgun. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. No. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I can get a kill. I can, it's okay, I can get you, you got this. Alright. But these guns just aren't doing you any justice. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yes! Ah! We did it! Alex hip hop. Alright, put on it, put on it. 
the good guy? I don't think, oh! Yeah, there's right so many you. of them! Oh man, Fortnite. I got a kill. <laughs> Hello! Alright. We need one of the cue cards. <laughs> Action. Play one ear off. <laughs> you play with an ear off? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my <laughs> ear off, alright? Who's the, the Van Gogh? Van Gogh took his ear off? I didn't know that. <laughs> is that something I should know? I think Vincent Van Gogh is the one who uh, mailed part of his ear to his girlfriend. Oh, you don't okay. know about that? I didn't know about that. Vin okay, all right. I'll, right, I'll well. look it up. I'll make right, sure. Look it up. We need some verification on that. Right. <laughs> You're going to try and flick with the new mouse? All right, let's see. Ah! Oh, I hit one. I hit ninjas. <laughs> Ninja, is that you? Well over 100 FPS on... Well, oh! Ooh, okay. Well over 144, so I'll take it. This is still very fucking high, but I'll live right. The most widely accepted account is that Van Gogh cut off his earlobe in a fit of mania. So he was crazy because he had a... I think he had an STD of some kind. <laughs> um, after getting in a fight with fellow artist Paul blah blah blah, and then gave it to a prostitute named Rachel oh. as a token of affection. Interesting. So Van Gogh, my man. <laughs> Rush B. <laughs> With an SG, nice, thank you. Thank you for embarrassing me. Oh. Is that a collapse? I thought it was. Alright, here we go, so we're gonna run it off. Oh no. Where's one more? Oh come on, there need to be one more. Oh hey, it's about the car. Okay, okay. Uh alright, we'll do one more round. Here we go. How many kills can I get? How many times can you get killed? All right, I have to get a kill. I can't do it that way. All right, now now we go. Tozo. Now we go. Comment down below how many kills am I going to get. Go. Pause the video. All right, we're at two. Three. <laughs> Four. Oh! Hello? I'm scared. Oh. Right in the oh, of the map. I know. I was gonna say, uh -oh. All right, four. four is the magic number on right the next game. Right in front of you. Oh, ah! no! <laughs> oh, I was trying to one dig. All right, we're done. We're done. Let's get this bread. Am I supposed to? Should I be removing it? Oh, <laughs> putting a new one up, boys. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, we don't like the way that one looked. I got five points for that. Oh god! Oh! Oh! Dude, he didn't it see was, it coming. It was planned. Oh! oh. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I tried to lay down. I got no game sense. Killed you. Uh. You know how this game is? You just run out and there's random people. The shoot. <laughs> Hello! Can you even drive the plane? I don't know, can I? I have no idea. Oh, I can. Hell yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is going to be horrible. Uh, accelerate. We fly in. Yes. If you ever wonder what Kentucky looks like, it's only this. <laughs> this is it. This is it. There was that one thing that was at a campfire to your left. Oh god! <laughs> Why'd you die like that? I don't know, dude. I think I blew up that uh, silo. Oh! Uh, oh god! How do I make a crash? <laughs> <laughs> crash landing! Crash landing! Wait, what? How did I survive that? Oh. Stop so quick. Yeah, I don't know. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was simple. Is that it? Alrighty then. Grand Theft Auto guys, you all asked for it a thousand times. Y'all gonna get shot at. I suggest y'all get out of here. Don't be an idiot! Yeehaw, brothers! We bring it to him! He didn't take cover very well, dude. Get in the Get car. Get in the car. Which one? There's one next to you. You shouldn't have been a cop. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. This 
this one? This seems like the right one. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> Did I just die? What? Wait, what? The route oh. was abandoned. Oh, All right, no. All right. All right. This is good. This is good. That's, That's good. good. That's All Grand right. Theft Auto, kids. Let's wrap this video up, yeah. guys. So Matt and I felt like some really good pro gamers after using this really ultra lightweight mouse with this 144 hertz curved monitor and this really nice gaming computer. But in all reality, this setup is actually really cool. This monitor for the price at around $149 for 1080p 144 hertz is actually an incredible value. Pixio hasn't really dove into this space yet. They have like really good 1440p high refresh rate monitors, but getting a 1080p budget option, it's really cool to see and we definitely do recommend, even if you're not building the setup and you're looking for a budget monitor to check the link down below and purchase this one so yeah the peripherals were a little bit oddball for this video because normally we'd use like a keyboard mouse combo and this keyboard is like extremely weird because it actually came like a keyboard mouse combo but you can buy them separately which we'll have in the description and this mpow headset like we said we honestly like we're never even going to do anything with it. And then one day we were just using it for like our 24 hour live stream and our buddy Marquise was on it and he sounded like the smoothest Morgan Freeman I've ever heard. So we decided to actually use it in something like this. And like I said, this mouse is extremely light. We both actually kind of enjoyed it. it is. You have to get used to it because if you go to like flick in a CSGO shot, you're going to end up throwing the mouse across the room. So you got to like really get used to the lightness of it and just barely move it. But other than that, it is a really good mouse and it's really great for first person shooters. And once again, if you do want to purchase anything in this setup, links in the description down below. They do help support the channel, so I do appreciate, we do appreciate, if you do use the links in the description down below. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.